A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, such confidence we have through Christ towards God, not that of ourselves we're qualified to take credit for anything as coming from us, rather our qualification comes from God, who has indeed qualified us as ministers of a new covenant, not of letter but of spirit, for the letter brings death, but the spirit brings life. Now if the ministry of death carved in letters on stone was so glorious that the children of Israel could not look intently at the face of Moses because of its glory that are going to fade, how much more will the mystery ministry of the Spirit be glorious? For if the ministry of condemnation was glorious, the ministry of righteousness will abound much more in glory. Indeed, what was endowed with glory has come to have no glory in this respect because of the glory that surpasses it. But if it was going to fade, but if what was going to fade was glorious, how much more will uh, what uh, endure be glorious? Verbum Domini. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Moses and Aaron are among his priests and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. From the pillar of cloud he spoke to them. They heard his decrees and the Lord he gave them. O Lord, our God, you answered them as giving God you are you were to them, though requiting their misdeeds. Extol the Lord, our God, and worship at his holy mountain, and holy is the Lord, our God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Teach us your paths, my God, guide me in your truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Dominos for Biscum, Lexio, Sancte Evangelii, Segunda Matteo. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but fulfill. And then I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter, the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Verbum Domini. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, so again, and again, I'm Father Stephen Imperato of ProtestChildKilling.com, ProtestChildKilling.com. I hope you subscribe to my Rumble and YouTube channel. We post these masses, my homilies, every day on Rumble and YouTube, and of course, Father Imperato Live, which will be coming up after Mass. I'm going to be heading down to Kilkenny, the city of Kilkenny today, do some sightseeing, and again, preparing tomorrow, I have a prayer vigil in uh, Port Leash, uh, the hospital there, uh, and uh, I posted my schedule, of course, it's going to be updated, changed, uh, expanded, uh, but Port Leash tomorrow, uh, I believe, at the hospital in Port Leash, we'll be doing a prayer vigil. You can email me, and you can get my email at protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com. We're doing a Mass for the Holy Church, but I have a special health intention today. Very dear friend of mine whose father is sick, so please uh, keep uh, that special intention in your prayers. And, uh, and so indeed, how, how can we diminish the importance of obedience? Uh, Jesus tells us that he's come to fulfill the law, the old law. The old law kills. The old law, the, uh, the, uh, the commandments, it, it's not that he's rendering it meaningless, but what he's saying is the old law kills. It does not transmit grace. No one can achieve eternal salvation through the old law, right? 
The new law, the law of the Beatitudes, the law of Christ's mercy, the law of what did you do for the least of my brethren you did for me, extending Christ's mercy, obedience to all that Christ commanded, the fulfillment of the old law, the new law, the Beatitudes, striving to enter through the narrow gate. All, right, all of these things, but obedience, 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 Jesus says that point blank. Whoever breaks the least of these commandments will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And those who obey, obey will be called greatest. It's all about obedience, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Our destiny, our eternal salvation, our eternal happiness is going to be predicated and based on our obedience to all that Jesus commanded, the least and the most. There's no escaping this. Yes, our faith is what uh, uh, motivates, uh, generates, uh, causes us to understand that Jesus loved us and we're called to love him. But how do we show our love for Jesus through our obedience, through our dedication to service in humble, loving obedience to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? And this is done not just through obedience to the commandments, but obedience to all that Jesus taught, our belief in the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist, uh, and in believing in the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist, going out into the world, filled with the Holy Spirit, seeking Christ and all who Christ entrusts to our care each day, being Christ to all those who Christ entrusts to our care each day, uh, and, and living the Beatitudes, right? Living the new law, the fulfillment of the old law, all that Jesus commanded. It is that simple, my brothers and sisters in Christ. And this is the gloriousness that uh, St. Paul is talking about. The glory of the old law, giving praise, honor, and glory to God, now comes to fulfillment. And it's a greater glory, the glory of the holy sacrifice of the Mass, the glory of Christ crucified, the glory of Christ laying down his life for us. So we're called to lay down our lives for him. This great glory of righteousness, right? Pouring ourselves out, emptying ourselves out as Christ emptied himself out for us, poured himself out for us, laid down his life for us. We're called to do the same thing for the least of his brethren, for you, for me, for all of us, right? And this, of course, every single day in our uh, daily offering in uh, Father Imbrato Live, we, we do the daily offering, we, we uh, dedicate, we resolve, we desire to do all things for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by doing all things for each other, laying down our lives, pouring ourselves out for each other, for the least of Christ's brethren. Shedding Christ's mercy, pouring Christ's mercy, as we're immersed in Christ's mercy, doing the same thing. Giving all good things that Jesus gives us, give them to others, extending them to others, and then showing the mercy of Christ, forgiveness of our sins towards others. This is what's glorious. This is the fulfillment of the old law, the fulfillment of the old prophets. The, the prophets and the old law did not understand Christ's mercy, did not know Christ's mercy, but Christ has died, and now his mercy is poured out upon us, and we are called to pour ourselves out for each other, especially the least of Christ's brethren. This is the fulfillment of the old law. By this we will be judged. By this, the shepherd, separation of the sheep and goats, which you did for the least of my brethren, you did for me. What you didn't do for the least of my brethren, you didn't do for me, right? This is what Jesus is saying when, when, we, when we are disobedient to the smallest letter of the law, right? We're least. But when we are obedient to the least letter, the least of Christ's brethren, the least, the smallest part of the law, we're greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. Let us now ask our Father in heaven to shed his mercy on all of our needs. So